As discussed in class, um, we can figure out the relative molecular mass of any molecule or um, ionic compound for that matter using the periodic table. And in this example, it asks us to calculate the relative molecular mass of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. That would be a good um, compound symbol to memorize, remembering that the common name is ethanol, um, only because IB uses a lot of organic chemistry but doesn't actually talk about it until um, one of our last chapters of the school year. So what we need to do first of all is look at our periodic table, which I have on this next screen. Um, this periodic table has significant figures much further out than we need to have, so we're going to um, round each one of them so that there's just two digits after the de um, decimal. We need oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen, easy enough to find on the periodic table. If we're rounding this one, 1 1.00794 to two digits after the decimal, we would do 1.01. .01. And we know that all of these masses on the periodic table are grams per mole. So there's my unit for that. The carbon would be rounded to 12.01 .01 grams per mole. And the oxygen would be 16.00 grams per mole. So we can go back, remembering this information, to our last screen, and we see that there's two carbons. So my carbon, being that there are two of them, would be multiplied by 12.01 grams per mole. Hydrogen, there's five here, and there's one here, and it's all part of the same mole molecule, so we need to add those up. So I really actually have six hydrogens. The reason that they put them in two different places is because it's showing us how the molecules are actually structured. Um, just to give us a little hint, it goes carbon bonded to carbon. There's hydrogens on each of these carbons. And then also a hydroxide group or a hydroxyl group with OH. The reason we have that H there is so we know that that hydrogen is bonded to the oxygen and not to one of the carbons. So back to our problem, we'd have 6 times 1.01. .01. Finally, we have this one lone oxygen. So we would have 1 multiplied by 16.00 grams per mole. Now each of these numbers are counting numbers, so they don't matter when we're dealing with significant figures. Only the values from the periodic table do. So we can multiply this out, 2 times 12.01 .01 would be 24.02 grams per mole. 6 times 1.01 .01 .01 would be 6.06 .06 .06 grams per mole. And 1 times 16 is obviously just 16 grams per mole. Now that I have these, each part individually, I can figure out what they are in total by adding them all together. So 16.00 plus 6.06 .06 plus 24.02 should lend us a molecular mass of 46.08 grams per mole. Now it's important to be able to figure this out because we're going to be using these molecular masses for more complicated problems. Um, so once you have this, those complicated problems become much easier.